now let's look into joints if you look at the documentation um, join takes um, when called join on one data set by passing the other data set it will try to join both the data sets but uh, to join there should be a common key and uh, based on that common key both the data sets have to be joined so if you look at the explanation it says when called on data sets of type k comma v and this is also called as paired rdd data sets of type k comma v uh, in spark are also called as paired rdd okay when paired rdds or when two paired rdds are joined of this format where the key is common between the two the key should be having the same business value between the two data sets returns a data set of this format so the output also will be paired rdd in that key will be um, from which is key will be the one which is common from both the data sets and value will be the tuple where uh, the first element in the tuple will be from the first paired rdd and the second element from the tuple will be uh, from the second paired rdd so this the output will be of this type okay and uh, also when it comes to joins not only join like this it also support out of joins by using left outer join right outer join and full outer join syntax okay so now let us see it in action and we require two data sets uh, so let us try to identify those two data sets and try to join uh, we have already seen earlier we will do it again if you go back to the data model we have these six tables orders and order items are related tables which which holds the transactional data and uh, let us say i want to get um, date from orders and uh, uh, probably order item subtotal from order items after joining along with order id so we can use join api and we can get the desired results okay uh, but before actually performing the join we have to convert our input data into key value pairs or paired rdds then only we will be able to join so first let's start reading the data I have copied this one and also this one. We have seen these things earlier also. That's why I'm not typing. I'm just copy pasting here. If you run these two on the lab, and preview the data by running first order items dot first, both the RDDs contain string. Uh, which is nothing but one line from uh, the uh, input uh, file orders have four fields and order items have six fields and the fields are uh, order id order date uh, order customer id and order status in orders in order items we have order item id which is nothing but primary key order item order id which is nothing but foreign key to order id in orders and then order item product id order item quantity order item subtotal and then order item product price so order item subtotal is derived uh, by multiplying order item quantity and order item product price okay so now from this we have to convert data into key value pairs so the input data is uh, rdd of type string and we have to create a paired rdd uh, as output so for each input string we have to create a pair or tuple with two elements for that we can use map okay so val orders map equal to orders dot map and then order so we have to return tuple finally so we have to put it in brackets and then order dot split comma of zero 
the first uh, uh, field in order C is all ready. It is originally of type integer, so I'm typecasting it to integer. And also I want to get the date. The second field is the date, which will give us the date. And let us say that I don't want timestamp, I just want the date. Okay, then you can actually say uh, dot substring of 0, 10. We have done earlier, so I'm just uh, recollecting that and typing here. So now you can actually copy paste here and then order snap dot take off 10 for each println. You can see we got order ID and date. As we have not done any filtering, orders dot count and order snap dot count will give us the same number of records. Now let us uh, extract order ID and order item subtotal from uh, order items. So here I'm creating a new variable order items map, which is equal to orders order items dot map order item implies. Let me put it in. Uh, uh, Curly base and break it into second line. Same is the case with here. Okay, val y equal to order item dot split comma. Y of one because we want order item order ID to so that we can join with orders. That is the second field in order items. Dot it is of type integer, so I'm typecasting it to integer. Similarly, I want order item subtotal, which is fifth field, so I have to use four here. And it is of type float, hence I'm typecasting it to float. It is very, very important to change the data to its original format in in, in the early stages of the um, um oral uh, data processing you should not defer it to the later stages okay and now we can run this line of code okay now i can also say copy paste dot take off 10 dot for each printer and, and you can see order ID and order item subtotal for each and every record. We can also perform count order items dot count 172,198 records. Order item snap dot count also gives 172,198 records. Now we have both our data sets the way we want. And now if I have to just join I just have to say orders join equal to orders dot orders map dot or join of order items map. Okay. And then you paste this and let us preview the data orders join dot take off 10. For each print ln. and you can see the order ID and a tuple, and this tuple have the date which is from the first data set, and then order item subtotal which is from the second data set. This is how the output will be after joining the data. And now, if you do count on it, orders join dot count, hit enter. It written 172,198 records because um, there is a one to many relationship between orders and uh, uh, order items. And for each and every order item, 
record, there is a corresponding entry into orders. And as we haven't done any other filtering, we got 172,100 records as the output. If we did the filtering, it's a different story. So this is how you can actually perform the joins. And this is called an inner join. And only if the condition matches, if the join condition matches between the two tables, we will get the data. Otherwise, we will not. Okay. Uh, also, you need to understand the concept of outer join, and we will see that.